What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Golf. Today, we are counting down the top 10 most popular discs according to sales reports from Foundation Disc Golf. This is, as of 2023, their best-selling discs, excluding any major drops like the Paul Macbeth Six Claw discs. We're gonna jump right into the list. Starting at number 10, we have the Discraft Nuke. The numbers on the Discraft Nuke are 13, five, negative one, three. This disc is no joke. The 13 speed rim is absolutely massive. The thing is super beefy. It's great for professional disc golfers who are looking to get a reliably overstable full flight They'll be able to throw it in the wind. But for those of you who don't know, this disc is also well known for looking super flippy when thrown by Ezra Aderhold. I've seen a lot of amateur disc golfers pick this up as more of a utility disc, something that they can kind of chop over on a forehand or use it to get a big wide skip or if it's super windy and you just want something that's gonna go straight for a second and then drop out of the sky, uh, this is a disc for you. You can get these for $16 or less sometimes. Discraft is of course known for their quality and their consistency in production. Hard to go wrong with the Discraft Nuke coming in at number 10. Moving on to number nine, we actually have a very big shift in a very unique disc that a lot of us here at Swanky personally love. We have the Axiom Crave. Now the Axiom Crave is coming in at 6.55 negative one one it's a flippy fairway driver um 6.5 speed is a very unique speed that you're not going to see too often but this is a fantastic beginner disc if you're looking for a very first fairway driver pick this up and if you're an intermediate player this is also going to be a fantastic choice for you it's great in the woods it's great for throwing on hyzer watching it flip and ride to the right take a little speed off of it you can get it to flip and fly super 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 straight uh, it's a great disc. I think even Simon Lazat has been throwing it, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's used by a lot of different disc golfers. It's loved by many. Uh, and you can get these for around $18 in their premium plastic. It's not a bad price point. Coming in at number nine with the Axiom Crave. Speaking of first drivers for <laughs> amateurs and beginners, we have at number eight, the Discraft Hades. For those of you who don't know, the Discraft Hades is a 12 speed with a ton of glide. It's 12, six, negative three, two. So it's meant to be a very flippy uh, driver with a kind of stable finish sometimes if you can throw it uh, at the right speed. But this is a great, like I said, if you're, you've are you now conquered fairway drivers or jumping up to distance drivers, pick up a Hades. Or again, for intermediate players, this is gonna be a great throw it on hyzer, watch it flip and turn to the right. Uh, if you're a lefty, just invert. If you get a big Z Hades, they're actually pretty overstable uh, for what the numbers suggest. These are gonna be at a higher price point because it is the Paul Macbeth line. It's got his name on it. Uh, it's gonna be at least $20 is a, probably a good deal if you can find yourself a Hades for 20 bucks, I would pick it up. But I would definitely say it's one of the best amateur distance drivers you can get out there. And of course, I've already talked about Discraft's great production quality, great consistency. Hades coming in at number eight on the list. Coming in at number seven, we're staying in Discraft Alley. It is worth noting that Foundation Disc Golf started out with pretty heavy ties to Discraft. I think they were very originally Discraft only. Now in 2023, they carry a ton of brands. All of your disc golf needs can be found over at Foundation Disc Golf, but I think they have a lot of big Discraft fans over there and that might have something to do with this or Discraft is just really popular. I'll let you guys decide. But coming in at number seven, we have the Discraft Raptor. The numbers on the Raptor are 9403 and it is a type of disc that most all disc golfers now are finding a need for. It's Discraft's version of a Firebird, really. It's great for fighting the wind. Uh, get them in Z plastic and they're going to last forever. They're gonna be super beefy for a long time. They also make ESP Raptors and maybe a few other plastics now. It is in this category where I feel like the Raptor is gonna be a little bit more expensive than a Firebird. There are a few minor differences if you wanna get really nitpicky, but they're definitely designed for the same purpose. If you want something more overstable, you can look at that Captain's Raptor slot. That thing is super beefy, um, but the Raptor is a great disc. Gonna be super reliable in the wind. Yeah, go pick yourself up a Raptor. Coming in at number six, again, we're sticking with this craft. We have the Zone. For those of you who are not familiar with the Discraft Zone, let me introduce you to your new best friend. The numbers on this guy are 4403, and it is the perfect overstable approach disc. 
Um, that's not true. It's my personal favorite uh, over stable approach to this. It comes in a ton of different plastics. You can find it in their putter plastic, TI, ESP, Z, Crystal Flex, and they're now coming out with the Zone OS, which is gonna be an overstable, more overstable version of the Zone. But the Zone is perfect for any of your overstable approach shot needs. It's also going to be great off the tee. A lot of local courses are going to have some shorter, more finesse shots, and this thing's perfect for it. It's going to do the same thing every time. Zone can also range in price from $12 in its base plastics all the way up to $25 if you're finding those crystal flex zones that are absolute money, by the way. The Zone is also a great disc for pretty much any skill level of player aside from maybe very beginner. And if you're just now trying to get into throwing over stable discs, this is going to be a great first over stable disc for you. If you're interested, there is a video of me playing an entire sanctioned tournament using only a zone. I can link that here. Uh, definitely the most fun I've ever had doing a one disc only tournament, which I've done a few of. Speaking of which, we are super close to 25,000 subscribers. Uh, and if we hit 25,000 subscribers, guys, it's time. We've put it off for too long. I'm going to do a Berg only tournament. I'm going to play an entire tournament using only a Berg, which is not on this list, by the way. Moving on to number five on our list, the Discmania FD. We're finally moving away from Discraft, and this is perhaps one of the greatest fairway drivers of all time. Now, this is the new Discmania FD, so the numbers are 7601. If I'm not mistaken, the numbers used to be a little different. They used to be a little bit more understable, but these S-line and C-line FDs that are produced by Discmania, the numbers are 7601, and they fly like absolute dreams. They're super consistent, and they're just the right stability to where if you're a beginner, you can pick this up, and it's gonna be a good, slightly stable fairway driver. If you're an intermediate player, it's gonna be laser straight, and if you're an advanced player, it's gonna be a shot shaping disc. It's one that you can grow with that any skill level is gonna pick up. Love how it feels. You're gonna love the quality of the new Discmania plastic that they're manufacturing on their own now. The Discmania FD is truly a legendary disc. I would put it in the legendary category of disc manufacturing history. I will say they're at a bit of a premium right now and it is very high quality, but I think the cheapest you're gonna get an FD for is $20 or more right now. Still definitely worth it. Fantastic disc, go pick up a Discmania FD. Coming in at number four, we're jumping right back to Discraft. We have the Discraft Undertaker. The numbers on the Undertaker are 95, negative one, two, and this thing is absolutely perfect for any amateur disc golfer. You can get a ton of distance out of them. A lot of amateurs are finding that an Undertaker, something around nine or 10 speed, is getting them just as much distance as any 12 speed that they're able to throw until you really bump up uh, to being able to throw 400, 450, 500 feet, the Undertaker is just going to be a fantastic distance driver for you. It's a really versatile disc. You can get really straight flights out of it in the woods. If you're in an open field and you're an amateur player, it's gonna get great distance for you. Uh, you can't go wrong. You can get these for $16 or less. The Discraft Undertaker coming in at number four on the list. All right, we are now into the top three most popular discs. And at number three, we have the Trash Panda Intercore. I love seeing this disc on the list. If you haven't heard about it, it's taking over the disc golf scene right now. It's one of the very, very few fully recycled disc golf discs out there. I do actually have one right here. Shout out to Jesse for sending us these and to Dakota uh, from Overthrow for dyeing it. There's absolutely no wasted material on these. They don't even put a stamp on it because the foil uh, is very wasteful. They have this really cool sort of embossment on the back. On top of being sustainable and just all around great for the sport, they feel really, really good. It is actually shocking. They feel like a nice premium star-esque plastic. They're gummy, they have pretty good give. Both of the ones that I have are super like flat as a board. They fly fantastic. The numbers are two, four, negative 0.5. Zero. So it is a two speed, it's meant for approach shots, but that four glide, you can get a decent amount of distance out of this. We were throwing in a field and getting pretty much as much distance out of this as we were any other throwing putter that we would throw. But of course it's great for finesse shots and runs at the basket with that two speed. It has a really nice, slow, soft finish. And we cannot wait to see more from Jesse at Trash Panda. But coming in at number three on the list, the inner core. Moving on to number two, you knew it was gonna be on the list. We have the Axiom 
Envy. Uh, the numbers on the Axiom Envy actually kind of vary depending on the plastic. A lot of the premium plastics, the numbers are 3302. A lot of the base plastics, the numbers are 33 negative 12. In the base plastic, you're going to find a super straight flight. It's the hand feel that everyone is drooling over. Um, the Axiom discs, of course, out of MVP has the gyro overmold technology that feels absolutely incredible. It's hard to describe or compare it to any other disc because it's unique in the best way possible. You're also going to be able to find Envy's in a wide variety of plastics and prices, all the way from like $10 in Electron Soft to $25 uh, in their Eclipse Glow Plastic. If you like Envy's, by the way, we're giving away a Simon Lazat grip bag when we hit 30,000 subscribers that has at least two premium plastic Envy's in it. So don't forget to subscribe for that reason also. What else can we say about the Envy? It was, it was the disc that was used for the greatest shot in disc golf history. It's a three speed that flies as far, if not farther than most five speeds. It's a great disc. Go pick one up. If you haven't already for some reason, go to Foundation Discs. Pick yourself up an Envy. Speaking of foundation discs, I want to remind you that you can go to the link in the description and find pretty much all of these discs and anything else you would need in your disc golf life. They have all of the equipment and accessories and discs that you would need at foundationdiscs.com. Link in the description. And now we are going to jump into the number one most popular disc. And you might have been able to guess it. We're in disc craft land. Uh, the number one most popular disc is the Discraft Buzz. The numbers on the Discraft Buzz are 5, 4, negative 1, 1, and it is the greatest mid-range of all time in my humble opinion. Uh, my very biased, humble opinion. I love the Buzz. I've always loved the Buzz. I bag a Crystal Flex Z plastic Buzz. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. They beat into perfection pretty easily. Like most discs, you can find the plastic for the stability that you want. ESP buzzes are going to beat in a lot faster than Z plastic buzzes. Um, you really can't go wrong. And you can find buzzes out there for $10 or less. If you go to pretty much any disc golf store in the world that has a used bin, there's probably going to be a couple buzzes in there for like $5 to $10 but you can also find them new for anywhere from 12 to 20 bucks. It's a fantastic disc and it's the most popular disc, apparently. Uh, absolutely love the buzz. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Stay swanky.